friends welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing really really well please excuse the state of this i have put a tiny little bit of makeup on just to try and make myself look a bit presentable uh, so yeah welcome back hope you're all doing really really well and have enjoyed your weekend the weather's been absolutely shocking hasn't it vile i went out on uh friday to B and M, and I, I never moved all weekend after that and it's monday and i still haven't been out of the house so yeah what i thought we would do today is uh start a, a bit of a vlog i haven't done one for a while so i've got a few things to do over the next couple of days so i just thought i'd take you along with me um share some things that i've picked up along the way and yeah just generally have a bit of a vloggy vloggy vlogging time <laughs> so i've had me a gorgeous hot bubble bath um it's what time is it i haven't got my watch on i think it's about half past two in the afternoon three o'clock something like that monday i've had me a lovely hot bubble bath i've washed my hair i've done my skincare i've got my um lounge suit on i've got my card my cozy cardigan over there ready to put on when i've finished doing my hair but what I wanted to do um, just at the start of this um, vlog is just share a couple of things with you um, that I use to do my hair. Now, the first thing, so this little part of the vlog is kindly sponsored by a company called Unicara. I'd never heard of them before, but the lovely Rebecca from Unicara, I think that's how you say it, I'll leave everything linked below, as per usual, uh, contacted me on Instagram and asked if I would like to review one of their products. And I asked, you know, all the details, as you do, and it was a hairdryer, a travel hairdryer, and I thought, oh. You know, always handy for in the motorhome. And uh, I found out afterwards that my friend Penny from over at Being Penny B had put my name forward to do this review, which I didn't know at the time, but I do know now. So, yeah, I said yes, I'd love to do a review. So, the beautiful Rebecca has sent me this gorgeous hairdryer. And when I say gorgeous little hairdryer, it's beautiful. I haven't tried it yet. I have had a look at it out of the box and it's this one. It's called Luxo Mini Zero Hair Dryer. And inside there's also uh, a diffuser and two nozzles that come with it. So I'll get it out and show you. So I'm just going to give it a test run today just to see what it's like. Look at this. It's so cute. Look at that. Let me just take that plastic bit off the plug. As I say, I haven't used it yet. So it's got quite a long wire. It comes really nicely packaged. It's got the Velcro round so you can, you know, re-wrap it back up and keep it tidy. And as I say, look at that. It's got quite a long wire on it. It's in this gorgeous matte black. It's it's not too heavy, but there's some weight to it. You can feel that it's good quality. And this beautiful rose gold detailing round there. It's got two heat settings and a cold blast as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, there's the button for the cold blast. So one, two, three heat settings and a cold blast button as well. So I thought I'd give it a go today. So I'm going to dry my hair partially dry it with this and then the next thing that i'm it's a brand new item that I've, I've only used it once i have tried this out it came the other day i got this in the black friday sale not sure whether it's still on sale so what i'll do i'll try and find the cheapest link that i can and leave it down below in case you're interested in it and this is an amazing Christmas gift. I used this the other day and I always have to use straighteners on my hair because it tends to be a bit frizzy. I used this the other day and my hair felt and looked like I'd just come out the hairdressers and I did it myself and I'm not, the, you know, normally I just blast my hair and take the straighteners through it and that's it. But this product, wow, it's this. The Revlon One Step Volumizer and it's like a a hair dryer with a brush on the end and this is what it looks like it's really good quality you can feel it 
and it's got like this round like oblongy oval type brush on the end and it, it's just amazing this is quite loud as well so what i'll do when i'm doing my hair I will actually do a little bit of a time lapse so you can just see how I'm doing it and you would you won't hear I'll put a bit of music over so you won't hear the noise of the hair dryers and this has also got the cool blast and two heat settings on the same as the little hair dryer so we're going to try the hair dryer out first it comes with a diffuser I'll leave the links down below to these items I think I've already said that and it comes with two different size nozzles. That one's a little bit larger and that one's a little bit smaller. So we'll go with the larger nozzle because I'm just going to blast it. Because with this, it's better to do it when your hair's like... I mean, my hair... Well, I could perhaps just use this at the moment because it's been a while since I um, got out the bath. Um, so I'll just blast it over with this to take majority of the wetness out and then style it with this hot brush here. So let me just plug this in. Excuse me one sec. Oh God, extreme close up. <laughs> right, so that's plugged in. Let me take these out. And I am just going to blast with the hairdryer. So that's on number one. Now that's not too loud really. That's on number one. That's on number two. And that's the cool, cool glass. So I'm going to go with the cool because there's less grease. So let's go. Wow, when it says cold blast, it is really, really cold. I had to put the warm on to warm myself up a little bit of freezing. So that is a lovely little hairdryer. Perfect for if you're going away for the weekend. Or like, I'm going to use this in my motorhome. Perfect for in there. So guys, highly recommend this i will leave the link down below uh yeah perfect little christmas present and this was delivered in a uh, record time i think i ordered it i ordered it friday and it was actually no no i tell a lie I ordered it on Saturday and it was here on Sunday was it Saturday i've lost track maybe it was friday i forget now but it was it was delivered yesterday sunday I mean, is this something new that uh, Royal Mail are doing? He's delivering on a Sunday. But yeah, super quick delivery and really, really amazing quality. I am so impressed with that little hairdryer. I love it. Right, extreme close up again while I pull the plug out. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Not what you want to see on a Monday, is it really? And oh, I never put the thing on. I used it without. Oh, yeah, you can attach these just on the put it on the right end max you can attach them just on like that so yeah i never bothered to put it on as i say i'm not really styling it it's just drying it so that can go back in the box and now we are going to go in with this revlon uh volume dryer i'll tell you what i'm super impressed with this i absolutely love it it's my new favorite thing right that's plugged in so I am just going to section my hair and do it a section at a time, which is what it recommends. So let's just clip that bit out of the way. And then let's clip these bits out of the way as well. Oh, how attractive. Real life, guys, real life. This is what I look like in real life. My hair desperately needs um, dyeing, but I'm trying to hold out until Christmas now. So I've already put in my heat protection spray. This is the one that I use. Uh, Swartzkopf Pro Styling Heat Protection. That's I've already put that in before I started to dry it. So now we are going to go in with this 
what number shall we go on? We will go on number one. Not too loud. And then I'm just going to start styling. Now it says to pull from the roots. So that is exactly what I did when I did it before. And then, I mean, if I can use this, anybody can. And then just twist it and keep pulling from the roots. I'll just show you this little section first and then I'll speed it up and do the rest of my hair so we can go on with the rest of this blood. And then just leave it there for a few seconds. You can touch it, it's not too hot at all. So I've got this little bit here that you can hold on to which makes it easy to style again. So you pull away at the roots, so it gives you the volume there, and then just make it fairly under or over, whichever you want to do, I'm going under. And there we go, and you just move it back a little bit so you can see, you're going to turn it down, there you go. And that's that. Look at that. And it's so soft. It feels amazing. And as I say, I didn't have to use the straighteners the other day I could use this. Absolutely love. Love it. So I'm going to crack on into the rest. I'll put some music over this bit and speed it up. And I'll see you when it's finished. bouncy blow dry guys i think that's took me about 20 minutes to do yeah probably 15 20 minutes and i tell you what my hair feels so soft i mean you can go over it with the straighteners if you want but you know it's not good to keep putting heat on your hair every day is it so my hair because I, you know i blonde it it can be dry and lifeless and oh my god this is amazing as well as that little hair dryer absolutely brilliant gift ideas for anyone in your life that you know loves doing the hair and you know stuff like that so i'll leave all those linked down below so that is my hair done guys uh, I've got a few more bits to share with you. My rocker box has come. I've got a few bits from Boohoo to share with you. So what I'm going to do, I am going to go and get a coffee and move into the other room where the lighting's a bit better. There's about four bulbs out in here that have got to be replaced. So I've got my ring light on, but the lighting's not the best. So I hope it's not hindered uh, your viewing pleasure. So, yeah. But let me know what you think, guys, of the, the bouncy blow dry. I am absolutely living for it. As I say, you know, the greys are coming through and it does need dyeing, but I'm going to do it at Christmas now. So, yeah, that is my hair done. Let me just pop in my earrings. And we. I'm not going to bother putting a full face of makeup on for this 
part of the video because you know i'm not going anywhere there's no point so guys i will see you in the other room with a few bits that i've got to show you see you in a minute hello again i'm back just had me a coffee so yeah just want to share a few bits with you that um i've picked up over the last couple of weeks from uh boohoo uh from their sale their black friday sale and also um my rocker box has arrived as well so yeah and um, just before we get into that i just want to say thank you to um rebecca alva at i forgot the name did i say no unicara <laughs> Oh God, old age brain frog. Frog, fog, bloody menopause. Anyway, yeah, thank you, Rebecca, for sending that amazing hairdryer. Uh, yeah, and thank you to Penny for putting my name forward to review it. Thanks, Penny, really appreciate that. As I say, guys, I'll leave all the links down in the description so you can go and check out those amazing hair tools. I mean, I absolutely love that hair brush, the, the hair dryer brush, it, it's amazing. And I think I paid, I think it was £30 and it should have been 60 It was half price in the Black Friday sale. I'm not sure whether it's still on sale, but as I say, I will try and find the cheapest link and I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I had to put my glasses on so I can see uh, all the details in the rocker box. So if you're not familiar with rocker box, it is a monthly subscription beauty box and they have some amazing products inside. I have rocker box, glossy box and look fantastic every month and you get products that you wouldn't normally, <clears throat> got a frog in my throat, sorry, that you wouldn't normally uh, go out and purchase, you know, it gives you the opportunity to try them. So this month's um, theme is Winter Wish List in, uh, in the rocker box. So let's start with, let me just show you, there's the products inside. And the first thing is Doctor's Formula Blur, Beauty Blur, it's called. Now it says this is full size not very big really for a full size product but it says that this is basically photo finish skin in a tube used on a bare face or under makeup this velvety gel blurs the appearance of pores lines and uneven texture leaving a smoother base for makeup and a soft focus finish on nude skin so yeah a filter effect base it says now, the recommended retail price for this Old on Tirats, guys, is, you're not going to believe me, £89 for that. And that's full size. It's not a deluxe mini, full size product, £89. Now, I'm sorry, you got no chance. I would never, ever go out and pay £89 for a primer i just wouldn't but the fact that it's in the rocker box which costs i think it's 13 or 15 pound a month well amazing and as i say that's from doctor's formula worth 89 pounds so we'll see is it 89 pounds worth is it going to get rid of them no only botox does that which i'm in desperate need for <laughs> The next thing is this uh, Moringa, I think that's how you say it, Moringa Cleansing Balm by Emma Hardy. This is a deluxe mini and this is worth £10 for this one, this small one. doesn't say how much the big one would be, but this is, uh, it says replacing your usual liquid cleanser or cleansing foam with a balm is a worthwhile move during the winter months. The formula feels more nourishing, more luxurious and more comfortable on dry, wintered out skin. This particular version, a cult product among, amongst beauty editors, is a particular joy to include in your evening regime. 
nicknamed spa in a jar this buttery soft balm will melt away all traces of makeup leaving super clean soft skin and it smells amazing too we pre predict you'll quickly become converted now i do use a cleansing balm i use the um elemis rose cleansing balm let's have a whiff of this uh, i really do like a cleansing balm i do Bloody hell, i can't get the top off oh jesus come on there we go oh it does smell nice and it's just a little balm so just a little trial size by emma hardy so looking forward to trying that the next thing is this by figs and ruse charm glow elixir Eli elixir figs and rouge i have had some products by these before in my beauty boxes and they are really good now this is a full size again and the recommended retail price for this is £34. So, so far in this box, we've got 89 and 10, which is 99 and 34. Oh, here we go with the maths. 99, 109, 119, 129, £133 so far in three products and it says intensify your natural glow with this unique product it's an elixir so a serum makeup hybrid that treats your complexion naturally with skin nourishing ingredients including hydrating hyaluronic acid brightening vitamin c protective vitamin e and soothing smoothing rose water whilst leaving behind a hint of illumination and shimmer Use without makeup to enhance your natural complexion or under foundation mixed with your foundation for extra glow. Thirsty, winter dry skin will drink up this hydrating formula and pallid winter warm complexions with love the boost in radiance will love the boost in radiance it leaves. So again another um, skin product love that one the next one is a deluxe mini and i mean it really is mini and this is evolu i don't know whether that's a evolu i don't know whether that's how you pronounce it you can see it there i'm going is it focusing there we go and it is a hydrating serum this, £24 for that tiny little tube there. This award-winning serum tops our winter wish list for its super hydrating benefits. Thanks to a unique formula of high, low and super low molecular hyaluronic acids, this serum is far superior to many of its HA peers in its ability to hydrate, repair and plump up dry dehydrate dehydrated and dull complexions a real skincare wonder particularly with the weather while the weather is colder harsher and more drying to your skin so a little deluxe mini there i've got loads of these deluxe minis loads that i've um, collected through these beauty boxes and now the next thing is a Luritzi artistry palette that's the box that it comes in Very nice, very nice packaging. And this is a full size and it's worth £25. And the shades are called Burnt. And they are absolutely gorgeous shades in there. Absolutely beautiful. They are a bit of me. So you've got some mattes and some shimmers in there as well. And it says about this, for all your days out, dates, in and everything in between, this full-sized eyeshadow palette has you covered. For the unlim... 
I don't even know what that word is for the unimitated. Un this is a best selling makeup artist favourite of five buildable, blendable eyeshadows, and we've opted for the burnt colourway. A stunning combo of shades from burnt orange and pecan to metallic copper and gold that work just as well in the day as they do at night. Stick to matte neutrals for the official brunch dates or office, weekend strolls through the park, then up the ante with the shimmering shades once the sun has set, ready for some night time debauchery. Nighttime debauchery, eh? We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, we've got a sneak peek at um, January's as well. Uh, it's by Par We Are Paradox. And it's a repair game changer hair mask in full size. And it's a recommended retail price of £15. So that's January's sneak peek. So that's the rocker box. I'm very impressed. Uh, I will put the total amount on the screen because I'm not going to embarrass myself adding it up <laughs> on screen because I am absolutely shocking at maths. So yeah, that's rocker box done. Now, let me show you a few bits that I have picked up from um, Boohoo to take my glasses off because I don't need them now. Um, as I said, these are from the Boohoo sale and what I'll do, I'll insert a picture somewhere of these so you can see them on the model because I'm not doing a try on. So yeah, let me show you. First thing was this pair of mum jeans. Now I know, I can't remember all the prices but I know that these were only £5 in the sale. And I picked them up in a size 16 because uh, I hear that you have to size up in the mom jeans and they do fit me perfectly. I've tried them on. They're just in this light denim with rips on the knees. And I've just turned them over on this, this leg so you can see they're turned over on that one. But they do go straight down. And they're lovely and soft. They're not too rigid at all. Really nice quality. And I thought for a fiver... You know, let's try a pair of mum jeans. And yeah, I like them. They're really nice, nice and comfy. So like I say, I'll insert pictures so you can see them if I can find them on the website. Now, the next thing I have worn, and you would have seen me in my videos wearing this, I am obsessed with this jumper. It's this black, chunky knit, really oversized roll neck jumper oh i absolutely love it i really really do back wings and it's got these um little splits at the side i don't know whether you can see that yeah there we go i've got these little splits at the side can't remember exactly how much this was but as i say i'll leave everything linked or on the screen with the prices love that what size did i get that in i think i got that in a 16 as well where's the label here we go oh medium to large i got that in and it's it's really oversized so you you don't need to size up at all in that love it i've worn it so much and you would have also seen me in this little um polo neck red um jumper well it's quite thin uh lovely uh, Christmas red, absolutely love it. As I say, I've worn it. It's very soft, and I think that was something like four pound. Not much at all, and they've got other colours in it as well. Perfect for layering up, and as I say, nice and festive being red. And then the oh ah, oh, where's the other bits that I've got? Oh, I'll be right back. One second, I've left them in the other room. I'll be back in a. I'm back. <laughs> so, the next thing that I picked up was this oversized black denim jacket. Now, I've bought this to wear with, like, you know, my um, joggers and a hoodie underneath. Lovely and oversized. It's got pockets here. It's also got pockets here. Buttons all the way down. Really nice quality. And I think this was something like £8. 
don't even think it was that much. I can't even remember now. But like I say, I'll leave everything um, linked and I'll pick that up in a size 16 as well. I have tried it on. Oh, the camera went a bit blurred then. I have tried it on and I love it. Absolutely love it. I've had a fab sale on over on Boohoo. So yeah, got that one. And then I picked up some chunky trainers. Now I'm not sure about these. So guys, you'll have to let me know. I'm really not sure. I do like them, but I suppose I'm going to have to try them on. And this is on. And they've got this little bit of writing on the side here. I think it says woman. It looks just like a bit of scribble on the side there in this like off-white colour chunky trainers again i thought with you know my um joggers and lounge suits and stuff they would look okay and they're really lightweight as well and these weren't very expensive at all so yeah let me know what you think of those i do like them but i'm just not sure about this bit here but then again it's not it does just look like a bit of a pattern and not words i think it does say woman or it's supposed to say woman and i think they have these in other colors as well so, and it's just got that little black detail there at the back. So, yeah, picked up those, which I do like, and they look like they're going to be really comfy. And then the last thing that I picked up, I picked up a, a trouser suit. Now, I've tried it on, and it, it is lovely. It's lovely and oversized, the blazer. That's the blazer. It's just got the one button there, and the pockets, really good quality. Really, really nice. Um, and it, as I say, it's, it's oversized. Bloody hell, the camera keeps going all out of focus. I'm sorry. Um, really oversized, that is. Uh, I picked this up in a size 14 in the jacket. Now, the trousers... There you go, you can see the jacket. The trousers are lovely, and they're supposed to be oversized, which they are, and they're very wide-legged. Look at how wide the legs are. Super, super wide However, they are too long for me. So I, I have got to get these altered. Um, what size did I get those in? A 14 as well. They fit perfect. They've got these lovely um, dart detail there. Unfortunately, no pockets. I wish there was pockets in there. But they are really nice, really nice quality. And it does, they do fit lovely, apart from that they are very long in the leg. And I am, for reference, five foot seven, and they are really long. I think I've got to have about three inches tuck off there. And very, very wide-legged, but I do love that suit. And that's the last thing that I picked up from Boohoo. So I picked up a nice few bits, really, from, from the sale. They had so so much in the sale uh yeah so i'm gonna finish off here today guys and i'll pick the camera up again tomorrow weather permitting i am going to be going to primark tomorrow i've got to pick up a, a few more um christmas presents and stuff so yeah i'm going to go to telford to primark and i will take you along with me uh, if i do anything in between i will pick the camera up and um, share it all with you so you can come along with me so yeah guys i will see you tomorrow bye for now good morning my darlings how are you all doing oh god it's wednesday i have completely missed a day on this vlog tuesday um the weather here is dreadful. It's really, really bad. And I was supposed to go to Telford yesterday, but I didn't want to drive down the motorway in this weather. Um, yeah, basically, we've got like 70 mile an hour winds. It's absolutely pissing it down. It's freezing cold. So... I never even budged yesterday. I had a terrible night's sleep on Monday with the weather and I felt a bit sick and I'd got the headache and I, oh, God, I just had an awful day yesterday. So I never picked up the camera. I didn't do anything. I stayed underneath my blanket in front of the TV all day. 
so yeah that was yesterday so today is wednesday i really need to go out um i've got to get leslie's prescription from the doctors uh I really could do with popping to Aldi or a supermarket just to get a few beets. So, yeah, I may do that. I'm dressed and I'm ready and I've just got to pluck up the courage to go and brave these elements because it's dreadful. Our bedroom backs onto the back garden and the back garden is it's quite large and at the top end there's like a wooded area with some huge trees. And the way the wind was blowing through there last night, it sounded like an aeroplane flying around the garden constantly. It was awful. It was that loud I had to turn the TV up. So, yeah, uh, not enjoying the weather at all at the moment. So, <laughs> rambling as usual. This is that jumper that I um, showed you in my little boohoo haul. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's just the cosiest thing ever. Uh, yeah, so uh, another thing is, um, as you guys know, my camera got smashed, my phone got smashed, so I'm using Leslie's spare phone at the moment until January till I can get a new one. Unfortunately, the when I spin the camera around, like the, the back facing camera, everything's blurred. I don't know what's wrong with it. I can't get it to focus on anything, so I can't even do. I can't even spin it round to show you the weather outside. Let me just open the blinds and see whether you can just see behind me. You may even be able to hear the wind. Sorry about the camera angle. Let me just open this door. Oh my God. Can you hear that? horrible really freaks me out when the wind's blowing like that I hate it sorry about the extreme close up uh yeah so what was I saying yeah the the um the camera on the other side the rear camera is is I don't know what's wrong with it I don't know whether it's because it's an old phone or what it won't take a photo or nothing so I can't even like spin the camera around to take you around the shops with me or anything like that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my shoes on I'm gonna brave the elements I'm gonna pop to Aldi um, my friend Joanne um, as Joanne Wright from over on her channel has just messaged in our little group chat on Instagram saying that New Look have got 60% off in store so I may even pop to New Look because I have got a Christmas party on Saturday it's um, well Les owns a business up in the Midlands and it's their Christmas party so yeah um we're supposed to be going to that weather permitting on Saturday. Uh, so I might go and see if I can find me a nice top or something. I was just going to wear my, um, what you call them, pleather. Yeah, leather look, uh, trousers, boots and a nice top. So, yeah, I might see if there's anything in new look. But as I say, I can't even spin the camera around to show you anything. But I will show you what I get when I get back. Uh, also, my glossy box is due today. So, if it comes, I'll share that with you. And also, we're supposed to be getting a new dining table delivered today. I hope they don't come while I'm out. Um, because that means they'll just leave it on the doorstep and I'll have to drag it in on my own. So, I'm not looking forward to that. But, yeah... Don't know what time they're due, if at all, today. Les did say Wednesday, but I'm, I'm not sure whether that's a definite. So, yeah, God, I've been rambling now for five minutes. So, guys, I'm going to go and uh, basically sort my life out. Excuse the state of this as well. I have put a little bit of makeup on and, well, just shoved my hair up because what's the point when the weather's like that outside? Um, but, you know, you saw enough of me looking rough the other day. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a little bit of an effort today. So, yeah, guys, I will see you all in a little while. So, 
this was walking from the door to the car. <laughs> oh my God. Look, at, can you just believe it? That was from the back door to the car and that's what it's done to me. Oh Jesus. Pray for me guys. I'm about to go to the town. Uh, two of the stags have fell over. I've picked them up twice already. So you know what? I'm just going to leave them on the floor for the time being because they just keep falling over. Some of the lights on the tree have come loose. I just, I just can't. I'm so stressed out with this weather. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why, why am I stressed out after the weather? <laughs> it's awful. Uh, yeah, so off I go to town. I'll give you an update when I get to uh, the town of the, the, the state of me because, well, can you just believe what the wind has just done to me? <laughs> just walk into the car. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, see you in a bit. Hello, guys. So, I've been around the town. I've got Leslie's prescription. And now I'm going to Aldi. And I'm so glad that I came out because I have found some fab bargains. So I'm just going to pull off the car park and I've chat to you while I drive round to Aldi. I've managed to pick up some, oh, let's go this way, there's people chatting in cars there and I can't get through. Um, yeah, I've found some really nice bits. I've got a couple of bits from uh, New Look in the sale. They've got 60% off um, in there. So I've got two nice bodysuits to try for the Christmas party. And I also picked up a dress from one of the charity shops as well um, so I've got a few options for a tyre for the Christmas party so yeah I'm really glad that I came out and the difference in the weather just like four miles down the mountain is unbelievable I mean it is raining down here now but when I came down the sun was shining no wind no rain unbelievable and I've managed to pick up some more hooks to hold the deers down so, but I'm just going to leave them laying down um, for tonight because it's going to be dark by the time I get home. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, so I'm really glad that I came out today and put my big girl pants on <laughs> and braved the elements. Sorry about this thing keeps swinging in the, um, into the shot. It's my little name thing. I have hanging from my window screen. Yeah, it's started to rain here now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. To, oh, sorry about the windscreen wipers. They make a bit of a row. I'm going to go to Aldi now, get a few bits of grocery. And then when I get home, I'll show you everything that I brought. But what I think I'm going to do is. I am going to do a separate video for my um, charity shop bits because there's quite a bit so there's enough to do a charity shop haul so I'm going to do that separately I've had a message to say that my glossy box has been delivered oh sorry about that guys um, so what I'll do I'll show you what I get from Aldi and I'll do the glossy box and then that'll be it for this vlog and then um, I'll do a charity shop haul that I upload on Friday. So I hope that's okay because this vlog's going to be about vlog. Sorry, is going to be about God. I bet it's going to be an hour long. So I'm here again with my long videos. So yeah, I was contemplating on going to McDonald's, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go to Aldi, get me some nice bits to eat for my dinner tonight. Some munchies for when I'm in bed. Because last night I had to raid the uh, the Christmas stash <laughs> for some munchies. So yeah, 
that's the state of play so far guys let me know what the weather's been like where you guys are if it's been as bad as here it's been awful I mean you know we do live quite far up the mountain I think we're about a thousand feet or meters I'm not sure above sea level so the weather is always worse up the mountain but oh it's been relentless I know I'm keep going on about the weather and having a moan about it but oh my god roll on summer <laughs> we've only just started with it. oh my god <laughs> Oh, I think I need my window wipers seen too. They make a right rare. Turn them off a bit. It's not that rain, raining that much. So we're sat at the traffic lights now. Aldi's just down the road here. So yeah, guys, I'm going to stop the camera while I'm at the traffic lights and I will see you guys when I get home. Bye. So guys, I'm back home. I'm a bit close to the camera. <laughs> Let me just... Try and move you back a bit. Oh, I ain't filmed in here for ages. I forgot how I used to set up. Let's move that out of the way. That's better. So I'm back home and I could cry. I hate the rain. I hate getting wet. And I've got, while I was out, I picked up some um, pegs, like ground pegs, for the lights and the stags and stuff. And it's still really bad out there, so I'm just leaving the stags lying down until tomorrow because there's just no point with how bad the wind is out there today. But I thought, you know, I really want to, because the, the, the rope lights on the big massive Christmas tree keep coming from under the, the pegs that we've used, they're rubbish. So I thought I'm going to have to do that. So I've just had to do that so that the, you know, tree looks okay. And I've got pissing soaked. So I'm not happy. But anyway, I'll show you what I got from Aldi. Got some nice bits. I've got to show you this. This is the first thing that I picked up. It's a bit wet from the rain. But I managed to get the advent calendar. It was the last one on the shelf. I'll tell you what, it's bloody heavy. Uh, 24 Days of Beauty by Liqueura. And they do have some fab stuff, like, you know, them proper dupes for high-end stuff. And it was reduced from £40 to £25. So, yeah, and it's in this beautiful green and gold velvet box. It's absolutely lovely. Let me open it, set the bow off and have a look. See what it... Oh, yes, it's very nice inside. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let's just open a couple. We've got number one. Oh, I ain't got my glasses on. Jelly Cleanser is in number one. I don't even know what date we're on. I haven't got a clue. Number two, what we got here? Brow Gel. I'm presuming they're more going to be like mini ones. Number three, what's this? Oh, I have no idea and I ain't got my glasses on. So, yeah, you get the idea. You all know what a beauty advent calendar is, don't you? So, I think I've got about... Is it the 6th today? I really don't know. So, anyway, I've got a few more doors to open. So, yeah, that was the first thing that I picked up. Then I picked up some bread. I didn't get Warburton's. I've got this. I've had this before. And this is only 49p. And it's so soft. So, I picked that up. Picked up some um, turkey foil, uh, I think that was 69 pence. Picked up a seeded loaf as well, super seed, that was 85 pence. Everything's soaking wet. Oh, bloody hell. Right, next bag. Some potato. <laughs> some potatoes. Uh, they were 89p, I think. Some of these breakfast pork um, patties that, you know, they're like the um, 
the ones that you get in McDonald's on the McMuffin breakfast. They're lovely, they are. They was one twenty nine. Some chicken nuggets, they are just like McDonald's as well. They was one forty nine. Them are for me tonight. And then two of these bacon and chicken, uh, bacon and cheese wraps, and they was one twenty nine as well. I think. Let me just put these in the freezer because they, well, not that they're going to defrost because you know. In the freezer. Um, picked up these fillets, dark chocolate Brazil nuts. They was one ninety nine. Some deodorants. That was one pound forty four. What a strange price. One pound forty four. Picked up two um, Madras. Uh, curry sauces they were 89 pence because on christmas eve i am cooking a curry for everybody so yeah picked up a smoked gammon joint this is for me and les for tomorrow i'm going to do us gammon mashed potatoes peas and parsley sauce yum that was 349 i think yeah 349 Picked this up for my dad for, um, I'll do my little hamper at Christmas with cheese and crisps and, you know, nice bits that he wouldn't normally have. And it's some Stilton, potted blue Stilton, and that was 3 99 So I've got dad there. I'm just grabbing it a bag at a time, guys. Then I picked up a couple of these chocolate Santas uh, for the kids' Christmas Eve boxes. They was 89 pence and <laughs> i don't know whether you've seen this on the internet but can you, um, spoiler alert this is a little bit rude but you know uh yeah this you can tell that it's very phallic shaped and when you take the um paper off it the foil off it it's even more phallic shaped so now what they've done, because it went viral on the internet that, you know, Santa was a, a dick. <laughs> Chocolate dick. He, he's got a face on there underneath, so he don't look uh, like a penis. So yeah, anyway, they was uh, 80, what did I say, 89p. And I got the little reindeers as well to go with, and they were 85 pence, I think. I think there was, yeah. Also, I'll pick some up some cookies. I'll just take them out the, you know, there and put the little bags in. Uh, they was 75 pence, I think they were. Picked up some midget gems, 29p. Wine gums, 39p. And some chocolate covered peanuts, 55 pence. Then I picked up a selection of crackers. Uh, I put crackers in my dad's thing as well, um, so I picked up a few and I'll, I'll keep some here and put some in dad's. Sea salt, uh, savoury crackers, multi-grain crackers and some black pepper savoury crackers. I think they was all 79 pence each and some cream crackers. I picked up a couple of these, there's another one somewhere, just your, your normal um, cream crackers, 39 pence they are. And then I picked up Dad this little piece of cheese here as well. This is spicy cheddar, and that was 99 pence. Next one, Ooh, stuck on the bag. Picked up these, these are for like Christmas Eve, you know, when I do a cheese board and or on um, Christmas night, whichever, um, for out, you know, all snacky little bits for everybody to pick on. Look at these, sausage roll puffs. Don't know what they're going to be like, but I thought, you know, tip, tip them in a bowl. Everybody can have a little pick at them. And they was, I think they was 99 pence, 89 or 99 pence. They weren't very much. Then I picked this up for Dad in his box. His hamper cheese board cracker selection that was one pound seventy nine, which I thought was really good for that. It's a specially selected one, so yeah, that'll go in his little hamper. Some cheesy twists, they were fifty five pence a thing. Maple glazed gammon crisps, I picked up two of those, and they was seventy nine or eighty nine. Forget me. And then I picked these up as well. Christmas tree shaped 
turkey and stuffing flavour tortillas. Again, you know, on the buffet table. And they was 89 pence as well, I think. Picked up two more curry sauces. So I'll do two. I'll do a hot one and a medium one. Because not everybody likes it too spicy, do they? So I picked up two balti as well. Uh, yeah, 89 pence they were. And then I picked up these two pâtés. You've got chicken and bacon smooth pâté and Brussels and garlic smooth pâté. And they were £1.79 each from the, um, the deli range that they're doing at the moment. And they're in date until... That one's April next year and that one's February next year. So I thought, you know what, just pick them up while I'm there and I'll see them and, you know, just start getting... One of the few bits that I need. Last bag now, guys. Some um, white rolls I'm going to have tonight. I am going to have uh, a fish burger and them chicken nuggets for my, my tea tonight. So I picked up those. They were 49p. Uh, picked up three boxes of these poppadoms for the curry night on Christmas Eve. They were 79 pence. So I picked up three of those and the last thing was some more crackers 39 pence yeah that's everything that i got uh, i did like i said in the car i've got some lovely bits from the charity shop really nice so i'm gonna do that in a separate haul um yeah so guys that's about it my glossy box has come um but I'll do that in another vlog as well because it's just going to make this one way too long and I don't want to bore the tits off you basically. So, yeah, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. I'm sorry that we never got to go to Primark, but I did say weather permitting and, you know, the weather has not permitted <laughs> at all. So I'm going to put my shopping away now. I'm going to make me a nice coffee and I am going to put my jammers on. And I'm going to do nothing for the rest of the night apart from stuff my face and watch the telly. Uh, I hope you enjoy your evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's totally free and totally up to you, but it would be great and mean the world to me if you did press that button and pop on the notification bell so you'll be uh, notified each time that I do upload. And yeah, leave all your lovely comments down below as normal. Love chatting with you guys down there. And thank you to all my new subscribers you know it really does mean the world to me that you're here and that you're enjoying my content and you're leaving some lovely lovely comments about my content as well so yeah welcome to all my new subscribers i am now at 640 subscribers oh my god i'm so happy so yeah well on the way to a thousand now guys so keep you know sharing the videos around telling your friends about my channel follow me over on social media on um instagram i will leave my at here on the screen so if you want to come and follow me over there as well post all the time over there although i have been a bit quiet the last couple of days because i just haven't felt up to it yeah post all the time over there so yeah guys Thank you so much. I am rambling on as per usual. So I am going to shut up and I'm going to go and I am going to bid you farewell. And I will see you all on Friday with a charity shop haul. Bye. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.